If you're watching this on Moodle or floated by on YouTube, a very warm welcome. My name is Rory Lees Oaks and we're going to look in this presentation at Freud's theory of psychosexual development. We're going to have a look at Sigmund Freud and his biography. Well, he was born uh, May the 6th, 1856 in Moravia, which is now the Czech Republic. He died September the 23rd, 1939. He was aged 83 and he died in London. He was Austrian by nationality and his fields were neurology, psychoanalysis and psychotherapy. Neurology is the study of the structure of the brain. Psychoanalysis was Freud's own um, theory of therapy which he developed, analysing people's psyches. And psychotherapy is the overarching term used um, for talking therapies. He was influenced by Kant, who was a philosopher, and Plato, who was a Greek philosopher, and Nietzsche, who also was a philosopher. So we get in the sense of someone who was very educated in the classical literature of the time. He coined the term ego, which I guess could be kind of thought of as personality. It might be another word for personality. And his key idea was subconscious processes. This notion that we are driven by processes that are out of our conscious awareness. And to that end, he thought that we were driven by psychosexual energy, that uh, as human beings, our sexual desires um, controlled us to a greater or lesser extent. Freud developed five stages of psychosexual development, and it's one of the better known personality theories. It's also the most controversial because Freud believed personality develops through a series of childhood stages where we become focused on certain erogenous areas. And erogenous areas are basically the penis, the vagina and the anus. He used the term psychosexual energy, or libido, which he believed was the driving force behind human behaviour. And libido is, I guess, um, sexual energy, want of a better word. The first stage that children go through a kind of fraud was the oral stage, and this is birth to 18 months. During the oral stage, the child um, is, is focused on oral pleasures such as sucking. Too much or too little gratification can result in an oral fixation, or what he called an oral personality, um, which is evidenced by a preoccupation with oral activities. In other words, this type of personality may have a stronger tendency to smoke, drink alcohol, overeat or bite his or her nails. Um, Personality-wise, these individuals may become overly dependent upon others. They could be gullible and they might be per perpetual followers. On the other hand, they may also fight these urges and develop pessimism and aggression towards others. So Freud really believed that thumb-sucking or dummy-sucking or soother-sucking, um, too much of that may, may start to develop a personality which, which would have the traits I've just discussed. The second stage is the anal stage, 18 months to three years. And at this stage, according to Freud, the child's focus of pleasure in this stage is on eliminating and retaining feces. Um, through society's pressure, mainly via parents, the child has to learn and control anal stimulation. To put it another way, this is a time when we're teaching children to potty train and I guess teaching them that sometimes they have to kind of wait a little bit before they can use the toilet. Um, so there is a bit of a pressure um, on children and I guess on adults to, um, to be thoughtful of when we, when we decide to go to the toilet. So at this stage, children are being, are being um, taught the appropriateness of um, getting rid of faeces, basically. In terms of a personality, according to Freud, the after effects of the anal fixation during this stage can result in obsession with cleanliness, perfection, control, and it's sometimes the term's used anal retentive, and it's usually a term used for people quite quite cruelly, for somebody who is very, very obsessed with cleanliness or order or structure. Um, it could be now termed as OCD, I guess. Um, but on the other end of this spectrum, they may become messy, disorganised, and that's something called anal expulsive. And it would all depend on the child's experience, according to Freud, of getting rid of faeces. If they, if they, if they enjoy getting rid of it and enjoy the experience, then they may become anal expulsive. But if they don't, if they feel that um, 
if they feel they have to hold it in because of too much pressure from parents and society they may become anal retentive they may have an over overarching sense of control about that area of the life but everything else now the follic stage is ages three to six and the pleasure zone switches to genitals freud believed that during this stage boys developed an unconscious sexual desire for their mothers because of this he becomes a rival to his father and sees him as a competition for the mother's affection now, this is quite a controversial piece of theory but it is it is the phallic stage it is freud's theory and this idea that as as all individuals are sexual individuals driven by sexual energy freud believed that boys um, began to compete for their mother's affections with their father during this time boys also, boys also develop a fear that their father will punish them for these feelings um, such as castrating them now i don't think that that's ever happened i think Fro i think freud was, was kind of a bit over the top with this idea but he would point and the picture on the left is oedipus and oedipus was a was a, a man in greek mythology who killed his father and ended up having sexual relations with his mother and he couldn't stand the guilt so he, he pulled his own eyes out um, and i think freud was drawing on that greek greek myth mythological example um, to show that um, there's a kind of order um, within father and son relationships this group of feelings is known as the oedipus complex and uh, as i say it goes after oedipus who, who accidentally killed his father and married his mother i told you freud's theory is controversial the next stage is called latency it's age six to puberty it's during this stage that sexual urges remain repressed and children interact and play mostly with the same sex peers and we see that don't we between six and puberty boys tend to hang around with boys and girls tend to hang around with girls then we we go on to what's called or freud went on to what's called the genital stage puberty on and from puberty onwards and this final stage of psychosexual development begins at the start of puberty when sexual urges are once awakened again um, of, through the lessons learned during the previous stages adolescents direct their sexual urges onto opposite sex peers with the primary focus of pleasure is the gen is the genitals and it's kind of interesting that freud didn't look at gay relationships so there is a kind of heterosexual bias to freud's ideas really isn't there the modern interpretation of freud's ideas and if anybody's doing a childcare course or he's doing any um, study paralleling um, child development um, one of the modern ways of looking at it is is these five stages in this in this graphic here the oral um, stage which is zero to two child sucks it's about sucking thumbs it's about eating um, through a bottle maybe and then two to three the child is responding to demands of society such as bad bladder and bowel control this is potty training at three to seven the phallic stage well children realize there's difference between males and fe females and some become aware of sexuality and some can become aware that they're bisexual or homosexual or gay um, and then from seven to eleven the child continues his or hers development but sexual urges are relatively quiet so it's, this is called the latency stage and then from 11 to adult the growing adolescence shakes off all dependencies and learns to deal maturely with the opposite sex and freud's belief was that any any anything that happened in the stages pre the genital stage anything that wasn't successfully completed would give an alteration to personality if you want further information well if you're watching on moodle if you click the resource tab here you can download some information um, for your studies if you're watching on youtube if you click in the tab below the bar below the video i'll put some links on that'll take you to further information so you can continue to study freud's psychosexual theories which as i said at the beginning are controversial and finally thank you for watching